Everybody, it is Cinnamon Cooney, your art tripper, and I'm just wishing you a wonderful Sunday where we're going to be painting along together a cute pop art hat. This is a very beginner-friendly painting. Um, it's got a lot of new skills that even if you're starting painting really recently or even today, you should be able Everybody, to follow it along. Is Cinnamon Cooney, mm. your art tripper, and I'm just I'm gonna mute I'm you. Not live. <laughs> I guess not working. live. That's not what happened. We're working. We're it, working. It works. <laughs> it works. All the things work. <laughs> it's a bad Welcome to the live painting show. So basically, this is like a real art class, right? Except we're virtually, maybe across distance, you're watching this video. But I'm going to explain this to you every part of the process, step by step. I'm not going to assume that you know things or that you're familiar with anything. Um, if you're here during the live and you want to ask a question, Please do put your question all in caps. We won't think that you are um, yelling at us in any way. Can we look at our desk here? I suppose. Sir? On the mic is my husband, John. You will Hello. hear him. <laughs> We're just kind of out in weird Sunday. You will hear him throughout the show. He reads your comments. He runs the technology. He gets the camera angles. If there's something that you need, like a picture in picture or uh, something's up with the sound, see? how fast he is, then he does that. Also today, there's a giveaway. You're if you check the comments, the description, and the moderators, you will get a link to our website. And this weekend, for Cat Patter Day weekend, <laughs> we are giving away a uh, cat's tongue Archer of a brush. It's a global uh, giveaway. You've got to be 18, you know, all the things that you can legally enter. It's got to be legal in your area to have a giveaway, and you have to have a place that we can send the brush that delivers mail so pretty mellow restrictions it's not affiliated with uh, uh youtube in any way you don't need to purchase anything you don't need to do super chat you don't need to anything except answer the question correctly um and just because we're not here to mess with you kevin is a kraken mm -hmm. <laughs> just so you know if you're not if you've been here a long time you know kevin's a kraken but if you're new you might not know that um and you need to be here when we announce you is the winner. If you're not familiar, an Art Sherpa Cat's Tongue brush is one of these. So we're going to be sending a lucky winner. Oh, I think the, the thing's over there. It was over my, it was over my brush where I was showing it. We're going to be giving away one of these. You need to be present and uh, let us know that you're here to qualify to win. Um, and then you would write support at theartsherpa.com where we would arrange to get things delivered to you. So that's the contest. Moderators will explain the rest of it as we go. My picture was better looking than yours, so I put it in there. Your picture was better looking than mine. Do that again. That's fantastic. This is what we're doing today. Your picture just rocks. My picture is kind of eh, and it's flopped over and a problem. Now, I'm going to be sketching this in with paint, and that is because it can be a little hard for everybody to see light lines like this. So as I talk about how we draw this in, I'm going to do it with paint. I gave myself a couple guides so it didn't get crazy on both of us. Um, for these, I use watercolor pencil. Um, you could also use the color chalk that kids get from like Crayola to sketch in. I like watercolor pencils. I probably overkill with the watercolor pencils that I use. I might use like Arteza or Artist Lop instead of, you know, Karan Dosh. But we have what we have in the studio, right? So mm -hmm. I go with what I have. I'm going to be using a number four round. And for this, if you don't want to do this part, guess what? There's a traceable because we always have a no draw option for all of my art classes, all the way up to three hoot. This is one hoot. That's our easiest level. We have two hoot and three hoot all the way up to three hoot. There is a traceable. I don't want drawing to be the barrier to you starting to paint because it's just an art skill like many art skills and it's hard to create obstacles to you getting started. So if you're like, oh, I can't draw a stick figure and you don't start painting, you might not realize painting doesn't require the same kind of drawing that well drawing does so <laughs> um go ahead and just follow along know that it's not cheating it's just process it's just technique all right i see uh uh people going yeah kevin's a kraken which is true now i have black paint out and i also have this fluid paint by a uh, whole line i'm going to use this just because it's going to mean that i have to go to the water less often to thin you could use craft paint too or your Black heavy body paint either is fine. I'm going to take my number four round and let's start putting important stuff into the painting. The first most important thing 
is the horizon line. And I'm measuring down from the top and it looks like it's about 14 centimeters and five and a half inches from the top. So let's make a horizon line across our surface. I'm gonna go about just under an inch and then another just under an inch here and there. And that lets us see our horizon line. I will wipe off my ruler. The cool thing about this method, this is kind of a, you'll sometimes hear the term outsider art or folk art. You'll sometimes hear those terms in relationship to the art that you might see at a craft fair. And sometimes people are under the impression that that means that art isn't good or important. For those people, I say, check out Grandma Moses and come back and see me about that again, because mm -hmm. clearly it is. Whenever you hear terms like outsider artist, you're just hearing a way for creative people to dialogue about their process, intent, and technique, not about whether something is valuable or not valuable or good art or bad art. Yeah, it's... In art, there's a there's a large attempt to speak objectively about art, which is very challenging because it's a subjective nature type of thing. So in order to be able to dialogue about it sort of academically, we have to have objective words to say things like it is realistic or abstract. It is, you know, uh, monochrome. You know, it, these words describe it rather than um, tell us what we feel about it. They don't evaluate it. Yeah. Right. right. They just, it's a way of dialoguing. Um, so don't be offended by those terms, especially if somebody says, oh, are you an outsider artist? What they're saying is that you didn't train in traditional constructs of regular European art education. Okay. That's all they're saying. Snoo people can be snooty, though. New people can be snooty and use these things wrong. They're like, it's not art, it's craft. You want to know what craft is? Craft is art that you can use. It, it's, it's art <laughs> that you can do over and over and over again so good that people will buy it. Right. And, it, and it's useful. It's used by us. But that doesn't make it not fine art. It's just fine art is like sometimes it's just what you look at on the wall. And those areas can get muddy. Now, we've created a little circle here. This is like a little squish circle for Mr. Kitty Face. And I'm going to add two little triangles to the top. Because we're going to be painting inside these lines, these lines are actually going to become very fine, like what you see in the reference. Eyes are nice and exaggerated. This is going to give us a wonderful, just like interesting thing. These big eyes just tell us a lot about the viewer. <laughs> Whenever you see very large eyes in a painting, it's about seeing the world in a way that's not based in realism. Okay. I want to see yeah. if I can do something. I'm going to make some little marks here to talk about the fur. See, I think that's better. Okay. I, I, I turned you around. See, I made you look like you're look like you're drawing. I mirrored you. I don't. Okay. Just. All right. I don't know what you did, but I love it. <laughs> I'm I going realized. to add a little triangle for the nose. And then for the little underneath there, we're just going to give him his little kitty mouth. Now, his body is sort of interesting, but let's talk a little bit about the bottom of the chair. When you come to the uh -oh. bottom, John's going to follow me. It's just going to make it easier for you to draw this in, because if you don't know how big stuff is, it can be hard. Let's come from the bottom and make a little upward m motion. It's like just almost three fingers, right? Yeah. Ma make a matching one. That's the other bottom of the chair. So when we're painting in this kind of pop art, craft or folk style we paint more about the flow of the line the way the objects relate to cut each other the way the color relates to each other and it's a little bit more symbolic than just strictly objective even though we do recognize all the objects in the painting we're going to give his nice little back a wonderful curve we know we need at least a couple fingers to the bottom of him Come here and bring up a tail. It curves up. Goes back. When you're new to drawing or doing this, I suggest you do it in watercolor pencil first so you can erase if you don't like your lines and then paint over it with black. Oh, wait. I moved on, John. I'll stay down here, babe. That's okay. <laughs> 
Sometimes what happens is I move on John. And that's not helpful to him. I gotta stay on my toes. We gotta give him little kitty paws. These are just kind of little downward kitty paws. There's a line dividing them going up. This line comes up the side, kind of curves in, and then joins the neck. So that's a nice little kitty shape he has. We're going to go up to the neck and do the collar. And remember, you're painting inside your black lining, and that will make those lines smaller and uh, not as prominent. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the lines being thick right now? You don't have to worry about your lines being thick right now. Don't okay. forget to enter the contest and remember to win. You've got to be here. So if I be present did, to win, we'll, an, we'll announce closer to the end of the show. So let me ask this question in a slightly different way. Mm. If I did not have really good tip control at this time, I should not worry about it and just go ahead and get it in because we're going to paint around those anyway. Yes. Go ahead and get it in because we're going to paint around those anyways. And if anyone's having any trouble entering it all, a couple of things. Uh, Raffle Copter, if you've never used them before, uh, likes you to make an account. You should be able to go to our website to enter right there. If you're having any trouble, I included on that website blog their contact information because sometimes, I don't know, they have issues with different browsers or phones or devices. I, I never know what those are going to be so that you can write them directly. And this is not the last giveaway we're going to do, just specifically because sometimes people have uh, complications in their um, entries and we want to give people lots and lots of chances. Now I may make these lines like nice and more defined and structured out so that when I paint them in that way they give me that nice fine black line around all my objects. It's kind of fun. It's like a type of coloring or stained glass work in a sense mm -hmm. if you think about it. Now I'm going to come here and from right about the, her the level point with my uh, horizon line, I'm going to bring a little circle off the canvas. And another little circle off the canvas. This is the top of a bowl. Bring down the belly of a bowl. I'm bringing it down and around. And the little base mm. that it would be sitting on. Now, this is really good. Janet was, uh, Jane was kind of asking about this at the same time. This, if you had trouble doing fine lines, okay, it, th this seems like a good one where you get a little practice in. And do you have any yeah. suggestions on thick paint, thin paint, heavy body paint? Is there any things that you, some hints that you can give some folks to uh, let them know how to do that a little easier? Uh, for fine lines? Yeah. Well, if you've got, this type of paint, you really just need a good brush and light hand pressure. Always, you can always practice your lines on scratch paper. You just see how light of a line you can make and how thick of a line and then how fine of a line. Just so you learn to feel how much pressure you're pressing through the brush. Mm. If you're trying to get better lines with your heavy body paint, you bring a drop or two or water over to it and you swirl it in. See how I'm incorporating it? Ah. And you get it to the same viscosity or flow aid uh, as this one. I'm gonna put my lemons in. Put your lemons in. Make sure my lemons have little lemon belly buttons. Yep. Lemons have little lemon belly buttons, sir. Is that what those things are? I think so. That's what I call them. Lemon nubs. Lemon nubs. That's how you, you can tell the top of a lemon head. Actually, interestingly enough, that's the bottom. Oh. The top is like a, a weird little dot that looks like a belly button. I'm well, sure there is a reason that lemons have these weird little bumps. I think it's but where... It's basically a circle with a little bump. I think one end's where it attached just to the stem and the other, other end's where the flower was. I think you are absolutely correct, sir. I don't know which ends those are. That's just sort of logic speaking. Is that your logic speaking? Well, if they took a flower to make them and they grew on a tree, gotta have two places to be. Unless one turned into the other. 
I guess bringing that could a little happen. big circle around here. And again, if you have the traceable, this is a much easier process. Some of those fruits get fruity because they grow in bunches and look like berries. Here's what though. This is a big bit of advice, especially for your new painters. Sometimes when you're doing even pop art, even abstract art, even art that's very subjective, you guys will get really like, it's gotta be exactly like the uh, reference or yours or some other person's. Let that go. Mm -hmm. It does not have to be like anybody else's. The wonderful thing about painting is this is where you actually are, a true individual, and you are unique and special for sure. And it's okay for you to do things your way. Sure, practice the techniques and follow the skills. But if things are a little bit different, don't let that be an obstacle to you completing the project. You just got to finish the project. All right. And remember, we're giving away a brush this show. You do have to enter and Ooh. be here What is the end the of the show. What is the clue here? The clue, in case you don't know, because you might not have watched for a long, long time, Kevin is a kraken. Mmm, a kraken. He is a kraken. A kraken he is. Now I'm going to come down and do the um, complicated patterning on the chair. So one of the patterns to the chair is that there's an angle up into the cat. There's an angle up into a foot. And then we've got to create kind of like, it could be slatting, it could be rattan, it's really not that critical about what you're saying it exactly is. It's just the implied little slatting that builds the chair. Mm -hmm. Chair design is something that I did not was so, did not know was so deep. Oh, yeah. You can actually, if you go to the Savannah College of Art and Design, you can take uh, uh, classes on creating furniture as art. I, Again, sometimes things that we use are also art. Yeah, several of the major art schools have chair, specifically chair design courses as part of either architecture or furniture. Because, man, Everybody uses them. They're everywhere. And we don't think about how much they influence our world. We really don't. And, you know, that's okay. That, that's totally okay. They're a utilitarian thing. They're supposed to be that way in many ways. And I'm going to add just a little bit of chair maybe peeking out right here. Now, interestingly enough, my flowers are also started with a black line. Hmm. So let's come here and right to the side, and you're going to do this. You're going to make a swirling little circle. And a little leaf shape. Little leaf. Yeah, maybe, maybe up here a bigger swirling circle. You don't want the white to show through because we're going to come back. And let's put another leaf shape in. A center one. If you've got a big spot between your flowers, you can go ahead and put a leaf shape in. <laughs> It's a nice way to fill those in. I'm going to definitely kind of imply one coming off here because of how I built mine. So you just put flowers or leaves in wherever you have what you would consider a big hole. I'm going to go around. And craft paint should be just fine for this, yeah. Oh, goodness. It, it, bottle paint, any of that is just fine, guys. Don't even worry about that in any way. Not in any, any way. I might make this bigger. And I'm going to add a leaf. And I think a leaf. I definitely think a leaf here. 
and if you are going over to join and sign up for a uh, sign up for the for the raffle the giveaway here you will have to join rafflecopter and that's so that they can control that everyone gets the proper number of entries and they help us make sure that we give the they right person. They also protect your privacy. <laughs> yeah, they do a lot to help make sure that we we stay within the rules and the FTC government. FTC guidelines yes. and those kinds of things. And any time that we're engaging with the community in this kind of way, I think it's important to make sure that we're present and aware of that. Uh, raise up the color picture, can't see the bottom on phone. I'm not sure. I was reading that myself. I'm not sure what that exactly means. I'm not sure. Because right now, I mean, we sort of have, although your cat went awfully, he, he, he got, I don't know. Is there something wrong with him? Nothing wrong. He looks different. I guess he does. Oh, I see what it is. It's he, the 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 nose thing. See how you made the nose thing go down instead of under his eyes? That's what it is. I don't know what you mean. See, it went horizontal under his eyes. His white his mask that went down from the top of his head down around his eyes. Oh, I I okay. I just I could I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I looking. don't know. Wait, this whatever. I don't know. <laughs> It's nothing. It's just one of those things where I'm looking All at right. the cat. All right. Hi, Stephanie Wilmes. Happy cat day. I like that so much. Thank you. I'm going to put out some titanium white. You're, you're all nervous that I'm like being critical of your cat. Well, a little, I'm, but it's okay. I'm not. I'm just like. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I'm going to put out some cad yellow. And I'm also going to put out some cad red. Mm. And then I'm going to add some queen magenta. As soon as I get the cad red out, we're going to be using really basic paint colors here because this is a very bright piece. And so we can do that. So we can absolutely do that. And again, mine may be different than the one that I'm painting from. Don't let that be the thing that stops you or creates it's, it's your issues me. or whatever. It's, it's it sto stops John, but it doesn't me. stop me. It stopped me. Okay, I'll just change it for you. I'm just fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Unstopped. It's a line. It doesn't really matter. All right, I'm going to put some blue out over here. You know, it really doesn't bother me. <laughs> and I'm going to put some green out over here. And we already have our black out. And the only other color that we would be putting out for this particular piece. And again, I want you to be very, very forgiving uh, about all the stuff about this painting as you're doing it. Because it is such a playful painting. And it shouldn't be taken too seriously. Uh oh, I need to move the reference picture now. Okay. Yeah. I can do I'm that. I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes when I put out a lot of paint, and we'll go over the paint colors again. And John will move the reference picture to an, like some weird corner, like maybe the upright corner, just teeny tiny on the other side of the blue paint. I can do that. Okay. And know, guys, that these pictures are available for you on the website and different locations for you to print out and have as a reference in your own life. Doxazine purple. Any purple that you have in your paint kit will be fine. Quinacridone magenta. Any bright pink magenta in your paint kit will be fine. This is cad red medium. This red, if you have different colors, you would want to look for a warm red that reminds you of a sunset. Very bright. This is cad yellow medium. It's a very bright yellow. We have our black hair, titanium white, our thalo blue, and our thalo green. Thank you, Sylvia. All right. Uh, and then just, sometimes the raffle, uh, the giveaway thing will tell you that you've got an entry, and sometimes it won't necessarily inform you've got an entry. I'm going to add a little white now to the lines that I move. If you have to move any lines, um, whether it's because, you know, you have a studio assistant who's got stuff going on in the background or because it's personally bothering you, what you want to do is come in with your white paint and go over it. If it's giving you a lot of trouble, you can dry it and it might take a couple of coats. The thing to remember is that with acrylic paint, Things are um, always changeable. All right. 
There we go. So you see we moved those lines to make that a little different, and that's okay. I think the first thing that I'm going to paint is the bur purple background. And I'm going to use a bright to do this, um, but I need a good one that's going to let me kind of, no, I'm going to use my cat's tongue. To be real honest, I'm going to use my cat's tongue because I need to make corners. So you could use a bright, a round, or cat's tongue. You just want something that's going to let you turn. The background wall, I'm going to take a little of my white out here and I'm going to bring some purple. I don't want the purple to be too dark. And Diox is a very strong purple. It is the strongest purple you can buy. And what I mean by that is the pigment is staining. You get it on your white carpet, you're going to need Sherpa soap to get it out. It's crazy. Um, it is just a very strong, powerful pigment. Paint your whole wall that nice purple color. A nice, even purple. You may have to slide over your little cup of water there. Let's paint this all in. I'm going to come in neatly. I don't want to take away all my lines, and I can always come back and put them back. That's another thing. Don't worry if you paint away your black lines either. In fact, that's the rule for this whole painting is just don't worry. You can use a round brush here too. It just might take you a little more time. And then paint in these spaces neatly. And you'll see what I mean about it's a bit like stained glass or coloring. Because you're just going to fill in whole spaces. Now, where I can, I'm going to make my brush strokes long and smooth. Right? You can do that. Long mm -hmm. and smooth brush strokes. But again, I had boo boos in the ears and noticed that I'm in no way panicking. Because I can just easily put them back. Just coming along and adding this to your painting. A little bit of purple in your background. You should have your purple, and I'm gonna move this a bit for my just so I can paint it, because sometimes without my um I'm gonna move it closer to me. Sometimes without my turntable, this can get a little more challenging for me. So I am turning it upside down. But what I'm trying to say here by my example is that when you're painting something, you should move it to where it's comfortable for you. Don't move yourself where the, where the painting is comfortable and you're not. That's how you get little painting injuries. Here we go. How are you guys doing? Is this working? Hmm, I think so. Oh, I'm so sorry for everyone who's having any trouble with Rafflecopter at all. Yeah. Again, we'll do giveaways again. Um, you know, if it helps, we do test the entries and all the stuff, but you know how it is with the internet, everybody's browser, everybody's device, patches, updates, compatibilities, it's, it's just amazing any of this stuff works sometimes. I'm just coming around here. And again, if you need to know what the code word is, it is John. Um, Kevin is a Kraken. Kevin is a Kraken. Yesterday it was uh, John is Stun Hands. So we're not trying to mess with you. Let 
There we go. See, just it's a bit of a fussy bit. You'll want to look for little areas that maybe didn't receive as much paint as you would like or smoothing out areas where you think it could use some more paint. This is another reason why it's sometimes good to move your canvas around and look at it from different angles and different lights because you'll see things in different locations and different angles than you do from just maybe your regular painting angle. Um, I'm sure you've seen the trope of artists getting up and walking across the studio and putting up their thumb and looking at a thing going this, this, which is actually a, that's actually a perspective scale tool, which you wouldn't use as much in a studio unless you had a still life going on. <laughs> but, you know, it's the trope. So that's what they do. Let's see here. I can move this up a bit if that would help. Yeah. I've got little stickies on the bottom of my canvas so it doesn't get away from me because otherwise it can slide everywhere. Normally we painted it easel. It's just not hooked up. I like the table. It's okay. It's nice to sit sometimes too. And also more of my students sit. So I think one of the good things that's come out of that is that I can start to be aware of maybe more of the unique challenges that you would have as an artist sitting at a table versus me, you know, perhaps standing at an easel yeah so we can look at that how are we at good all right suki sue says she loves purples and sheila hover says thanks noletta and sebri art says you are the best and thank you for the tutorial and you are so very very welcome i am super happy to share this with you let me let me get this where this is better framed for you guys into our system that's pretty okay that came out all right, and I'm happy with that. Now, the other thing that we have is kind of a green ground with a diamond pattern. I'm not sure how much I want to do the diamond pattern or not. I'm, I'm going to give it a go just in case you're curious about how to do that. Um, I personally feel like that's kind of a lot going on in the thing, but why not, right? Hmm. Why not? So one of the things is, is because purple is a complement to yellow, and I don't want these colors to be dull, I'm actually not going to use this water that I had all the purple and black in because it will dull the color. And I'm going to get clean water, and I'm going to come in, and we're going to paint the, the carpet a very, very light green. So I'm going to make up a light green. A light green is more yellow, like two, three parts yellow to one part green. Um, and it's very easy to darken the green. It's kind of hard to lighten it. So it's best to uh, mix this up first, get the value that you want, and then go ahead and paint all that in. And one of the reasons that there's a lot of drama here is these two actually, this is, interestingly enough, this type of green is the true complement to dioxazine purple. A lot of people don't know that. They think it's yellow, but it's this yellow green because dioxazine purple on a color wheel sits in a very strange location. Huh, did and not know that. Yeah, uniquely so too. It's it's like alone. Like all the colors are sort of clustered and have their opposites on other ends of the color wheels kind of evenly clustered. And then over, somebody did this really cool kind of scientific color, over way off to the side was dioxazine sit by itself. <laughs> with no easy to identify compliment. So sometimes you'll get that question like in art school, like what's the complement of doxazine purple and you have to mix it. And it's a little more yellow than this, but it's in this range. You'll notice that your yellows and greens are transparent and don't cover the black paint well. And that is completely normal. I'm going to paint this little strip here, which is also not chair. This is background. So this is chair, this is chair, but this is background. And look, that made me realize I missed some purple on my, um, behind my chair. So sometimes when you're doing this, you'll go, oh, I missed that. I need to come back with, say, a round brush and paint in this little area of purple. See how we do? Yeah. So it's okay when these moments happen in a painting. You don't need to worry about it. 
This is just my doxazine purple and my titanium white. I swirl my little round brush on here to get a load. And I come in and paint kind of carefully where I can. I'll put that aside and back into the green. <sighs> what a Sunday, huh? John has been up since the way early of the morning. The way, way wee hours tractoring. Well, looking at his tractor, working on his tractor. No, I was garage cleaning, I think. Oh, that's even harder. Garage cleaning? Well, it, not, we have a lot of our stuff out there, so still storaged. A lot of hard work. Way I, early in the day. I like getting up early, though. He does. He loves getting up early. A friend, friend of mine said uh, he, he had a whole different reason for it, but he would get up to greet the sun in the morning. And I was, it was just, that's, that's what he did. He just woke up early and that was this thing. He woke up to greet the sun. And I was like, that's a really cool thing to do. If I got to wake up every day to greet the sun, that's a good way, good way to start the day. I have to agree with that. I don't do it though. <laughs> I don't. I tend to have uh, insomnia and be a night owl. If you follow the page, you kind of sometimes catch some of my late night rantings. But uh, we're not really rantings as much as comic thoughts. Uh, I'm going to add a little white to this mix. Just a little bit. And along these edges, I'm just going to come along. Trying to make sure that's as clean as it can be. That needs to dry for a while. And... I'm going to actually dry all of it just to make sure the black lining is completely dry. And I'm going to put in like um, some other cool effects. Okay. So while she's doing that, you can hear me talk about heat and color shift and all those other wonderful things that, you know, if you're using, especially on this one, if you're using craft paint or, uh, you know, a you know, basic acrylic paint, like not a professional acrylic paint, you should be mindful of heat because it can affect the way you, your, your paint cures. So just use that air mode on craft paint. Yep. Yeah, some of it really, really is affected. Got to make sure I don't get my roller in the paint that's over here. So I'm going to come up here. Um, I don't, I might have to move my, this back so I can really see what I'm doing. And to come up here, I've got the centimeter side up. Oh, and I, I may have to come back and dry that again. So every, um, you guys got to pick a regular thing. You could do every half inch. You could do every. You also missed couple a spot. Centimeter. You missed a spot of green down by the right of the table. On oh, the, I did. See. Thank you. That was somebody who caught that, and I saw that slide by. Your thank you, thank you, guys. Diane. I appreciate that. Thank you, Diane. We're just coming along here and making sure that we have those marks for stripes and I will hit that green on the right of the table again so this is this is that process there we go yeah. a little bit of a process now I don't really draw like a perfect straight line no you he's saying no like he doesn't know that's absolutely true but it is absolutely true so I'm going to come here and first I'm going to take a little bit of my purple. This is just my purple and you can see I'm thinning it with some water. And I'm going to try to use my straight edge to help me get this line. That I wouldn't normally get. Now sometimes I have boo-boos like you see there. When I do, I do two things. I clean them up with a damp clean brush. See? And I wipe them off the ruler. Because that's what that's really about. Is this sort of weird capillary effect that happens on there. Every other line I'm going to do with that dark purple. You could use a paper towel if you don't have any rulers to help you get a straight line. And sometimes uh, tape is good. You could use another uh, canvas 
Another canvas. That's a really good one because you probably have several in a pack and some of them are wrapped in plastic. We'll have to try that sometime. They're square-ish. Ish, yeah. As each other. They're as square as each other are. So Yes, as square as they've made them, they're square. Yeah, so they'll be perfectly fine. I'm, you know. I'm just going to come here and continue along and come over again. There we go. You can see it's every other half inch. And just kind of imply maybe a little line over here. It doesn't have to be that perfect because it's over by the flowers. Yep. That all needs to dry. Anything that you need to clean up, you'll want to do while it's still a little bit, um, still a little bit wet. If you get the boo boos that I have up there at the top, you would clean those up while it was still a little bit wet. If it's dry, it's a little bit harder to clean up. And that all needs to dry. So we can give that a minute. And sometimes when stuff is taking a minute to dry, it really lets you come in and paint some other things. So like I'm going to take a little bit of my blue. Oh, you're going to paint the bowl? I'm going to come here and kind of paint some of the spots between the roses with the blue first. I'm going to stop guessing what you're going to paint. I, it's okay. <laughs> I don't mind the guessing. I'm going to stop being so hard to track on the painting. No, I just... <laughs> I, you know, I have no idea. This is I, sometimes you know, do, I don't have an idea either. You know, I mean, can you paint a dog in the same style so we can hang them together, please? I am actually planning that. So, October we're really scheduled out through Oct to October, and then October first starts an event we call the Thirteen Days of Halloween. Every single day we go live painting a different one hoot Halloween painting. And then the weekend after that is fall, but the weekend after that fall weekend is the one I'm planning to put the dogs. Can we talk about that kit after this? You can talk about the kit even right now. Well, I, not now because we've got a lot going on. But at the end of the show, I'd like to talk to folks. We've got a kit available for the 13 days of Halloween. I'm going to take some green and add it to these little leaves right now. It's a, it's a really great thing. So I want to just let everyone know what's going on there. Yeah. It's early, early days. In the kit, so there's still some. I'm going to come here and in, in the leaves. Just a little bit, first coat. I know I'm going to want to do several coats on the leaves. So sometimes I come in and I do a thing early so that when I know I'm going to come back or I'm going to want several layers. Mm. I may go over my black lines if I felt like I was too small with my leaves. Now, Margie was curious about, and I know that you're, why don't you just paint the entire background in and then stuff over the top of it? You can. You could? <laughs> you could. But you like to leave those, those fields white so that the colors, especially like craft paints, pop easier. Well, the lemons. There's a lot of really bright colors, this green background. There's a lot of bright colors. And, you know, it, sometimes it's great to come in and make sure that that stuff is as uh, white underneath it as possible. You can also, if you decide to paint the whole background in, though, you could go in and paint those white as well. Now, since I fixed my boo-boo, I'm coming back here again. So I'm using professional white, and you can see even so, mm -hmm. right, it takes a couple coats. So if you're painting a very inexpensive white paint, that you might need several. And that's another good reason why to leave those spaces white when painting your background in. Yes. Is that it's much harder to come back in and 
cover it. Like I will have probably one more coat even after this one mm. to get that totally resolved. Another place I know I'm going to want my green, which is my yellow and green here. I don't use just the phthalo green because it can get a little overwhelming. I'm going to come in and start the green eye. Cool. This is step one of the green eye. The green eye actually has a lot going on, and I liked it because it reminded me of yesterday's cat. Yesterday's three-hoot cat had green eyes, too. The lounging cat. The lounging cat. It was near daffodils, which was a strong value of lemon. I felt like there was a lot in common between those two pieces, yet they were skill-wise very different projects. Okay, so over, you have that, the, those good on eyes. Mm -hmm. When you're ready to switch to purple, they saw another spot they've got to get. Thank you guys for catching the spots. Oh, on the other side of the vase? Yep. Good catch. So I think it's important that you see that going on so you guys know that's a thing that goes on. And you're not hard on yourself or very judgmental of what you're doing. Important to not be too judgmental of your own art. Enough people will come in and be judgmental. <laughs> Don't help them. Don't give them a hand. Right? Don't help them out. But do know, most people mean well. Right? Mm -hmm. They mean well. That may not be that reassuring as you're going through it, but it is true. Now I'm going to start my blue bowl, and my blue bowl is going to be a little bit of my phthalo blue and a small amount of white, but I want kind of a darker color. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to paint in between the lemons with my number four round. If you're very new to painting, your painting will take longer than my live video. Hmm. That is very normal. Uh, the feedback I get from students is they are two to three times, four times the amount of time it takes me to do one of these live shows for them to create their own painting. And what I'll say to that is that there is no speed component to painting. <laughs> I'm going to do yellow under this lemon, so I think that that's the amount of blue that I want for that. And then I'm going to add a lot more white over here to this blue and start to paint this pool. And you can see that the the combo of phthalo blue and white is actually quite quite covering, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm just doing that. I'll put my lines back in a bit. And come in with a little more white at the top lip here. And then I'm going to also paint in this. This is one of those paintings that it is, again, in that end kind of detailing that a lot of the stuff that you will like comes together. Hey, babe. Mm. Sweetheart, is there any way that I could get uh, More water? clean water and a uh, microwave coffee? Yes, we can do that. Thank you so much. How are we guys doing? Now, remember... Well, to finish the painting, you probably want to watch the whole video. And to be entered for the contest, you might want to watch the whole video. You don't have to, though. A lot of people just don't. Is that one clean? A lot of people don't. And, and I don't get mad about it or anything. Um, but if you want to be entered in the contest, you've got to be here when we announce it during the live. Um, moderators have. There's something crazy all over this cup. I'm going to say no to this cup. Ew. Ew. I don't know what kid activity. Don't even touch it. Here's this. Go this way. Because the other side is gross. It's gross. It's gross. Do you have children? It's gross. <laughs> Sorry. 
every once in a while, I pick up a thing that has a mystery goo, a mystery stick, a mystery slime, a mystery oil, just some sort of mystery substance uh, that really, really, uh, absolutely is ew. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And there's no point in trying to identify it. You're never going to know. And if you have kids and you've ever gone to them and you say, do you guys know what this is? Nobody will ever know what it is. Nobody is ever aware of where this is coming from in any way. There's no like, yeah, yeah, no, that was totally this weird thing that happened to me the other day. Nope. they are like, I don't know. It wasn't me. So since it's never anybody, <laughs> we'll never know. Is, did you watch it? Is, yeah. Oh, you got me new ones? Thank you. This, that was so gross. <laughs> We're just discussing mystery kids. All right. And then, um, yeah, I love kids, and they're the cutest things in the world, and I love mine, and they make my life happy every day. But, yeah, sometimes gross. I saw earlier someone asked, would a paint pen work for the line work? A Posca paint pen would work beautifully. The only paint pen that I don't like in the Posca line, period, is the white. I don't like their white. Every other color I think is the best, the best, the best. And I mean, like, I have tested it in the worst, hardest conditions. I did this event twice called Made It Con, and um, they have this thing called a Made It Go Round. And you have 10 minutes to teach people craft and 150 people come through the room back to back to back to back. And I, brilliant person that I am, thought, let's paint on rocks. But I'm like, not everybody paints and that could be messy. So I did Posca paint pens. I had one s series of sets that we bought, that one first series of sets. I was like, made it through all 150 people and worked after the event. Kids still play with them right now. So yes, I robustly recommend Posca paint pens, but just not the white. <sighs> oh, no, let us like, don't touch your face after undefined substance. Uh, uh, Cinnamon, I used to say it's Alf, orange doll on TV. <laughs> yeah, Alf, Alf was strange. I rewatched an Alf recently. That's a very... First of all, I don't think with the current state of the internet, you could talk about eating cats that much. I don't think people have that. I don't think, I don't think that that would be okay. People really love their cats, and I don't think ALF would be as popular. I think there would be a whole writing campaign about ALF's uh, inhumanity or inalienness. Because that's kind of really planetist, isn't it? Hey, can I tell you guys something that really has always bothered me? John, can I tell you? That has always bothered me that's not important. Here's a thing that's bothered me that's not important. We need more of these things. It has always bothered me that on Star Trek, they have referred to other beings as people. It just bugged me. Because it's like, dude, we're people. That's our planet. That's what we do, right? Like being sentient intelligence. Like, don't be so Earth-centric, yo. Anyways. Gene, so. Gene Roddenberry believed in cosmic seeding, so. That's true. He did believe in cosmic seeding from shape-shifting aliens that somehow were on an outpost I don't have any feelings about. I mean, Galaxy Quest was a little more accurate. It probably would be like... <laughs> like Galaxy Quest. <laughs> I love Star Trek. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to, now that this is dry, I'm going to come in and do my white lines, in theory. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> white lines in theory. Are you guys ready to see my white lines in theory? I'm, I, in theory, sure. In theory. So right about now, I'm not sure when, um, I think we've got a little bit more time on the giveaway. Uh, we'll let Mod Cad Red let us know because she has access to that. Mm. And I do not. When we are coming in to say, if Mod Cad Red could give us a heads up when there's like, say, five minutes left uh, to enter before she shuts it down, that would be awesome. Okay. I will keep a chat, uh, an eye here in chat. But if she's not here and doesn't, that's okay, because I think technically this is her day off. <laughs> My headache just ruined oh, no, our I've schedule. Got I've, I've got this over, so it's okay. no problem. You're okay either way. Yeah, we're okay either way. I'm just going to go through and add those little white lines to give that pinstriping that was kind of lovely to the wall. Again, if you have Posca pens, this is a perfect time to get those suckers out. Get them out. What they were made for. Hmm. 
After my, you know, and I want you to know, I have never been paid by Posca pens or even sent Posca pens by Posca. So literally, YouTube, I don't have to make a disclaimer here. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. So some folks, it appears that we have some folks over in India who are trying to support us on Super Chat, but the Super Chat system isn't allowing it today. So I suspect that thank you, thank you, thank you. First, thank let's you. just say thank you. We the appreciate thought this. really counts. It really does. And the second thing I'll say is that technology is a thing, man. And we're not in control of what that YouTube barista stuff does. Well, also, but, have you ever noticed like they have weird music things and all kinds of stuff? Like, I feel like we, the people of the internet, we are one community, right? It's like the we, the people of the internet. Mm -hmm. where we all come together from wherever we're from and share our common digital space. And then there's crazy people in our governments making all kinds of random rando laws and things and shutting stuff down and forbidding this and do it. And it impacts us, we the people of the internet. Mm -hmm. But we don't know why it's happening. Some days. Now, that being what it is, uh, yeah, sorry. YouTube is not allowing that today. But I will say gratuitous plug. If you go over to our website, we have a whole bunch of cool ways you can support us there. This is true. Including our patronage engine. You can go over to our store and there's stuff for sale. Hint, hint, 13 days of Halloween stuff. But, uh, you know. Now, if you are somewhere in India or in Australia, or which is Oz, that's always so fascinating to me when I do those addresses, <laughs> we will ship to you, but you will need to pay um, the extra shipping. Extra. By extra, we mean we're covering the first $100. No, 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 no. Oh. For the 13 Days of Halloween kit. Oh, 13 Days of Halloween kit. Yes. For the, kit, oh. for the Halloween kit. You have to, so like above and beyond what we yeah, have, we, in, got a, we covered for, so what we did is we covered American shipping and for all the U.S., so it's like free shipping. But if you were like overseas, because Australia, it's like $100. And so then, then we just deduct what the American shipping is from that extra shipping. And if you want to cover that, we're happy to ship to you. Yeah, and but actually get just, a quote before you buy the kit. Just email us. Yeah, and we'll tell you. And we, ahead because of time. we found out that there are some much more economical options than we thought. They're still not like great. cheap, right? <laughs> it's still not, not cheap. great. But if you're having trouble getting a complete uh, a complete package of your I'll art take supplies, take some white over to my Thalo Blue. Yeah, you keep talking. I'm just letting him know I'm taking some white to my Thalo Blue. Narrating. That's all. Keep going. I, I was just checking to make sure the image hasn't frozen. If your image froze, hit refresh, because it looks like I'm seeing the reflection from the server coming back. Okay, here. So, um, a little bit of dry brushing. What, which brush is that? This is my number four round. And when I say my number four round, I'm not being weird. It's like literally the archer on number four round. So I mean like my mm -hmm. number four round. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, our, the real reason we put together these kits is that we were able to get the complete set of art supplies you'd need to be able to do all 13 days of Halloween, meaning that we got 15 surfaces, all the paint, the brush, the supplies, the goodie bags. The, there's even a traceable thing in there. Is there a traceable in there? Oh, that's right. You consider that pumpkin a traceable? The thing, yes. Yeah, so you trace it. You consider it. He hands me this little pumpkin. He's like, look at Traceable. Make something with it. I'm like, oh, thank you for the extra work, darling. All right, we're going to paint this vase in a mixture of the Cad Red and Quinacridone Magenta. We're just doing this particular one so that we can um, add a little bit of the Cad Red later and pop it. We found all sorts of fun stuff to put in there, though. We did. Is super true. All right, so you can see I'm just carefully painting around this little spot. And you know, John's gonna he gets in on here, and you can see, like, you know, um, if you want very smooth paint, if you know the rough nature of heavy body bothers you, because like heavy body is designed to show brush strokes, that's what it's supposed to do. 
Um, but if you want self-leveling paint, craft paint is technically self-leveling paint. Mm. Now I'm going to take this mixture, a bunch more of my uh, Quinn into it, and then I'm going to grab some white into that as well. You can see it's kind of a heavy mix. I'm going to roll that out, load it on the toe of my brush. Let's see if we can't do one of these cinnamon roll roses. Boom, cinnamon roll rose. That's oh. why it's called that. <laughs> Elizabeth would like the, the secret phrase, just in case. Kevin the Kraken? Kevin the Kraken is the secret phrase. So how, you know, you're just swirling around your brush around, around, around. White is great because it lets, you know, uh, everything cover the black. I'm on the toe and again around cinnamon roll roses. You say cinnamon roll, and I think of cinnamon doing karate in the backyard. Kung fu. Hi cinnamon has not done ever karate. Cinnamon did do fake karate when she was a clown for kids' parties as the Pink Power Ranger. I just, at the time, was very skinny and fit in suit. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I watched enough anime to fake it and enough Power Rangers to fake it. I basically knew Power Ranger karate. So I was perfect for a kid's party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the guy that did Barney with me knew actual karate, though, and he took it a little bit serious. So we got some cinnamon roll roses. Mm -hmm. Right? Doesn't that work good? I think that works out pretty good. I'm going to come back with my yellow and green again. I'm going to make a very light yellow and green. And this time I am going to come add some white to it for coverage. When you're having problems with the flow of your paint, you just add a drop of water. And what you see me doing here is rolling the brush out so that the paint doesn't creep up it and cause me a bunch of problems. I may need to go back and re-outline some leaves and certain things, and that is okay. This type of art, generally, you will do several passes in an area. <laughs> Jane, Jane says, John, you have to watch Cobra Kai on Netflix. I am, I just started. It's actually quite good. It's yeah. actually quite good. I was surprised okay. at how. Now I'm only like an episode and a half in. So I'll tell you what else was good on Netflix that I did not expect to be good under any way was Teenage Bounty Hunter. If you liked Stephanie Plum books, Teenage Bunny Howler would be good. I just, I, that whole, it's, it's very humorously close to home for me, so. Teenage Bounty Hunter or Cobra Kai? The, the whole Cobra Kai stuff. Oh, really? Did you have a Cobra Kai karate school, sir? No, I just went to, I, I studied martial arts in the era of that we style hit kids. of martial arts. <laughs> we hit kids. Of, well, long... Take a hit, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, okay. people are like, if you hit my kid, I will sue your business into oblivion. Okay, it's it was this bad. Back in the day, they were like, hit my kid. I don't care. I hit my kid. <laughs> I, I went no. back. If you have been through actual genuine trauma. I totally recognize yes. that we're talking in the very light sense of Cobra Kai, not in the reality of. Mm -hmm. I'm just familiar with the internet, so I know some of the internet just went out, and I'm sorry and absolute respect to your experience. Back to Cobra Kai. No, we're no. speaking Cobra Kai. <laughs> but I went back and I met my, my sensei from when I was probably seven, eight. And, you know, I, I studied with him until I was my late teenage years. And he, he, was, he was like, dude, I'm sorry. I was like, you were... Like my first generation of students, and that was I was very young, and that was a different time in martial arts, and and I was like, man, it's okay, I can it's take okay. a punch. I am super tough because of what I went through then, and he, you know what? It was very much 
product of that era. I think that's true. I think that, um, well, I mean, think about it. Like every, everybody has something different, don't they? Mm -hmm. Like, and at its time it's like, okay, but, and then it's not okay. Okay to like change. I think it's okay to update. I think it is like beaches used to be okay. Now they're not okay. I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, there's no spoilers here for Cobra Kai. We're not gonna spoil. I'm just saying, I related to like you know elements of the original. Yeah. <laughs> he related to, to 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 Cobra Kai Karate Kid, a la 1980, back when um, Chuck Norris was. God, who king. was the girl in that? She's so famous, um, and she still looks exactly the same. She was just on the well. She was on last season of The Boys. And, oh, my gosh, she looks just the same. I'm like, this woman never ages. Where's her portrait? Where's her portrait? I'm adding oh. another layer of green to the eye because I want them to be lush. Now, another thing I can do, and this is a fun thing to do, is I'm going to take this green, and I'm going to take some of my blue, and I'm going to kind of mix them together with my white, and that makes a little turquoise, right? Now it needs to be a light color. So I'm going to come here and make sure that the turquoise is quite light. And it makes it different than the blue bowl above it. Being turquoise. And then we'll put some of the bright green on top. So painting all the table with the bright turquoise. Do we have Mod Cat? Do we have Mod Cat Red today? Oh yeah, she's here. Oh, okay. She was. They're just reminding me that I I should not drop spoilers like the Game of Thrones spoiler. I'm so sorry for that, guys. We saw. You know, that's like the worst. But it one was too. such a fun intro. It was just too fun of an intro, and then like my mom totally did the same like intro after. <laughs> but it was such a fun intro that uh, I had to do it. So can I make the reference picture bigger? Funny, though, because she doesn't watch the show. I can. Huh? I can make the reference picture bigger for a you moment. Can. But whatever. we won't spoil Cobra Kai. And I won't spoil Teenage Bounty Hunters for you. And it's... I won't spoil the boys for you. Or Lovecraft Country, which if you love HP Lovecraft, you've got to check out Lovecraft Country on HBO. There's I've watched one. all the Lovecraft movies, it's and for movie. most of the, most of it, it's maybe Mouth of Madness was okay. There's been a few that were okay, but mostly they don't get it. This one, um, oh, the color of space was actually pretty good, but mostly they don't get it. This one gets it. This one gets what Lovecraft was about. Totally understands the constructs of the storyline that his world depended on, which is to take rational people and put them in irrational situations. And have them learn to cope. And he did. And this did. If you haven't checked that out and you like Lovecraft. If you don't like Lovecraft, I don't know if it would be a good thing for you or not. I cannot say. Oh my goodness, I'm so out. I'm like looking in chat going, wow, no one's talking. Oh no, there's a lot of, a lot of talking. La, there you go. And hey, guys, good luck to everybody who's entered. Mm. I wish every single entry could win. I, I do. I think that you're getting pretty... Or, well, when you start on the cat, that might be a good time to do it. These are long, fussy bits. They're easy. They're yeah. beginner-friendly, but they're not speedy. We'll wait until you get to the cat, and then we'll, we'll do our winner. Okay. When I get to the cat is when we announce the winner. Because you've got some chair. Are you going to do the chair first or the cat first? Chair. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll do the cat. When you get to the cat. I got lemons. I got chairs. Still got table. Yeah, got it's a journey. Stuff. You got some stuff. We got people have and some time. And I still have to re-blackline anything that I'm unhappy with how it painted in. Oh, my goodness. Just more of this, okay? More of it. It just is never going to end. This is the table that will not end. No, it's, you're at the last part of it. It's definitely going to end. But again, you're just mixing that turquoise, which was your thalo blue, your thalo green, and a lot of titanium wine. You can also buy thalo turquoise in the tube, but I feel like once you realize these two make it, what would the point be? I don't know.
Oh, goodness. There we go. So we've got some basis of a table there. So it paints in slowly, right? But it happens. Mm -hmm. I may put out some white paint um, closer to my yellow just because I've been a little messy with this white paint here and not as careful as I could be with keeping it clean. Jane says it looks easy, but I bet it's harder than it looks. I can't believe people actually painted along yesterday. I'm amazed at some people's skills. Jane, I'm amazed at some of the cats that came out from yesterday. I was amazed I got through that painting. That one was definitely a journey into all many unexpected techniques and things and that we all learn. This cats. is easier than you think. It actually is pretty chill to paint. It's just process oriented. It's just, I've got to paint all these lemons now. Do you? Yeah, that's what Those it is. Those are some lemons. These are some lemons. I would sing a song and worry about content ID, but I don't sing that well, so. A lemon tree. No, I'm not going to sing that. I'm going to just paint these lemons. I'm going to be good, and I'm just going to paint the lemon. Lorraine says it's cold and raining in Eng England. Mm. I feel like, and it may be because I have, I'm from the United States, but I feel like isn't that kind of like a set point of weather, or is that just something that we think? Um, well, I would say that's probably more of a perception because it depends on the side of England that you're on. Okay. You know, there's... I, I mean, do watch a lot of Top Gear, and I don't remember, like, raining all the time in Top Gear. Like, the sticks no, seem to no. have plenty of dry days to drive. Um, and also, Torchwood, not always raining in Torchwood. So this is my where my information comes from. But isn't Torchwood Wales? Uh, no, it was in southern... I could see it on a map, but I couldn't tell. I'm just not that familiar with the name. You guys will have to let me know. I love Dr. Blackpool Hugh. was the area up there near Scotland that had all the coastal, like, And there's, point. this is Americans talking geography. Like, out of memory. Well, at least I could, like. We're just going to paint all these yellow first, guys, and then we're going to shade them real quick. I could probably draw a map with most of the 50 states in about the right place. From memory, so I could. Kind My of map get would there. be prettier than yours, but I yours don't know why I would definitely. use it for navigation. <laughs> <laughs> so I can use an old school map and a key map. Although I have to say, as well as I use my GPS. New England likes to squish the states together, like Vermont and um, Maryland are mm -hmm. squished in places that you you're like, states go there. And you're like, yeah, that's where they go. It's like, okay, well. <laughs> but Vermont's got this like it's all like where's Vermont people are like well it's up in next to wait I don't I couldn't tell you what other states it touches it's up there but it touches them it does and they're New England states but what are they? Uh, Mary Youngblood says weather was beautiful day of Prince Harry's wedding that's all I know right Prince Harry's wedding was good <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so like here I am, I live in the United States, and I'm super sucked into all that, right? Why? Like, I'm really, like, kind of, I'm kind of into the queen. I'm going to let you know. I kind of, like, think this woman is amazing. Like, her ability to keep it together while insanity ensues is extraordinary. Just because I would have run out of the castle screaming, Kristen, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm done. This is dumb. I'm doing none of it. <laughs> we have a program here in Netflix, The Queen. And I have to say, like, the whole bit, watching her go through prime ministers, and she's just sitting there in the chair going, yeah. That was, I don't know. It would be hard to do. Mm. It'd be hard to stay a classy lady. Classy lady would be tough. I admire her. I don't know her personally, so I'm not saying she's a good or a bad person. Because like we're not like on speaking terms. I don't think I'm somebody that the that the royals would be like. You know what we need to have at the palace is an art teacher. <laughs> I don't think they're like doing that that like at all. So if Meghan Markle wants to paint with us to deal with some of the stress and anxiety of the paparazzi, I'm sure it would be very helpful. Isn't it weird that I know all those people's <laughs> names? It's really weird. 
I think what it is is it, when it's somebody else's leaders, it's like very mellow to observe, watch, and participate. <laughs> I was just looking like what, what, where we are relative to other places in the world in Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of interesting. Where we are? Like, okay, so what we share latitudes with. Oh, he always likes to see who's on the same latitude as us. A lot of uh, Italy. Just kind uh, of like smack across. Beth the wants to know why we moved away from the south. Oh, gosh. Uh, God, That's... a lot of reasons. A lot, a um, myriad of reasons. Um, probably the most was that we wanted to, we just took everything off the table and said, if we could live anywhere, we were unrestricted. And we put down, we made a list of the things we wanted out of our life. And, uh, you know, that list is bound by a lot of things, money included. Um, and when we got to the end of that list, this was the place that ended up being the best for our family. And there was a bunch of places. We almost moved to another place in the south. We almost moved to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Came real close to moving there. And um, but someday may still do something there. We may still do something because I love me some Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um, I do enjoy being away from the hurricane stress, to be real honest. The hurricane thing is very stressful. However, I haven't survived a winter yet. So, so you know, I'll give you a note on that later. Yeah, so we, when we... When this we, is I, an orange. I took a little bit of my cad red and mixed it into my cad yellow. You know, so I miss my mom. But we took one of our moms with us, so that was okay. We, we grabbed one. So what I would say is the big difference between Pennsylvania and Texas is that the residents are remarkably similar. Oh my God, surprisingly similar. Very, and especially as you go from country to city, though very similar dynamics, very similar person. What I would say is if possible, Pennsylvania is a bigger gun state than Texas. And I didn't think that that was possible for there to be any state bigger than into guns than Texas because they're like the home of open carry, right? Which, by the way, straight up, all supports to all constitutional rights. That's oh, still just, really rough in a Denny's on a Sunday. If, yeah, okay. So I'm just like, I'm not <laughs> saying where you stand on the firearms thing. I have guns. Everybody, like America, gun, gun, gun. Anyway, Whatever is right for you, we fun. support you in that yes. choice. We're was, not the arbiters are in charge of that. We are the arbiters of art. It was different is what I noticed. Is, mm -hmm. And surprisingly so, because I grew up in Texas for the most part, that there was more here. So I was like, wow, that's... Surprising. Unexpected. So right, uh, and um, the summer was beautiful. I enjoyed every day outside. Oh yeah, here, yeah. yeah. Summer was not in Houston. And as it gets cold, I do know that, uh, and and I've lived in places where it's cold outside, and but we're hermits. <laughs> I mean, not. For the Have you guys noticed? We're kind of indoor people. So, I mean, we're, I mean, yeah, I, I'm sure that it's not going to be as fun, but apparently there's skiing around here. Kids so, are pretty excited about that. And if ever we get to a place where we can be outside with each other again, mm -hmm. we would like to ski. So we're hoping to be outside with each other again. Five minute countdown for the contest. Five minute countdown. All right, you five have five minutes. Minute countdown. If you're wanting to enter our giveaway, you have five minutes to enter. The answer is Kevin is a Kraken. Um, just go there, put in your entry. We're going to randomly pick somebody to win, though. You do have to be there. Mm. And it, it does not make us happy when the person we're like announcing as the winner isn't here, just so you know. <laughs> Very not fun. So be here. Yep. I'm going to get some pink and paint in the back of the chair. So I'm taking my magenta and mixing a small amount of white into it. I find with Quinn Magenta, it needs a little bit of white to really pop and do the things that it can do. And we have been thoroughly warned by many, many of the locals that PA has real winters. Now, that being said, with a caveat, we live off of a major road that gets plowed all the time. And they said that the last five winters here have been more like summers. Like, they got snow, but it didn't stick. And they've been very much noticing a milding of the winters. 
Yeah, but that could change at any time. Oh, that guarantees that this winter is going to be the worst one they've seen in 25 years. Because they told us it was going to be light. Yeah, and because, like, sh for sure. Here's what. We bought fuel, like the apocalypse is coming, like the ice age is coming. <laughs> but that's, it, in some ways, we're almost more prepared for, more prepared for the winter. Because we don't know what to expect. So we're like, no, the end is coming. Winter is here. Right, because we come from a state where if a snowflake hits your mailbox, schools are shut down. Oh, man, they, they're not kidding. Snowpocalypse has happened. There was a flurry, and I saw it with my eyes, and it did not immediately evaporate. You cannot drive on the road. So I'm sure our preparedness is like maybe overkill. <laughs> Coming here to continue to paint the back of the chair. The first base of this chair is this paint. So... Yeah, par part of our choice to move up here was to be close to New York City. So, But not in New York. But not in New York. And not in New Jersey. Not that it was... We looked at New Jersey. We really did. But we, it was very populated. It's very populated. It was very... Very, very popular. And very was, populated. And Beautiful, I, but populated. I could better. I could. I could live in San you Francisco. You don't really want John as your neighbor. Right? I could live in San Francisco. John needs some space for the cost of living in New Jersey, though. And really? I was like, yeah. You could live in Frisco for what it costs to live in Jersey. There, I mean, like, I had no idea how packed New Jersey. Everyone was. in Jersey should move to San Francisco. <laughs> That's should. true, guys. You need to change. Oakland. It's just, you're, you're really? not, yeah, just go to Oakland. You're right across the bay. It's like being, it's Oakland. I don't want to say that Oakland is the New Jersey of Jay San Garrett Francisco Jay Garrett would like to us to know, and I feel like I need to share this with you, John, and everyone who's here today and all the people who watch this video in the future, thinking you were just going to innocently paint a fun cat video. Um, Jane just said that snot will freeze in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> well... We're not really getting into what city or anything yet, and that's really just because we had some really creepy people dox us. Yeah. But it's... it's. Oh, Diane says, New Jersey's wonderful. She lived in a wonderful town there and liked it very much. It's, it's easy to say that we're not far from Scranton, the electric city, because that's, you know... The electric city. Oh, oh, electric. We didn't watch The Office. So... I'm going to add a little bit of this orange oh. to some of my lemons. Let me go up there. It is, uh, uh, it's still pretty yellow, guys, as a color. It's just a bit of a, in a shadow here. Going to add some. So there's a bunch of people who are like, I'm from New Jersey and now live in San Francisco. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, right? Great place to live if you can afford to live there. It's a great place to leave, live even if you can't afford to live there. I guess that's true. That's but why that, nobody see, leaves. See, like Houston had the hurricane thing. Uh they got that earthquake thing. I grew up in California, and I don't love the earthquake thing or the fire thing. They're not my favorite. No. The whole, you know what? Since Lori Calif cannot wait to paint this. And then Casey says there's good drinking water in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And Diane was like, glad to be back to Georgia. And you know it's cold when you go out and your nose hairs freeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm worried about that now. I have I'm to say. I'm a little worried, guys, now. Let's North take some white and add some reflections to our lemons, shall we? Mm -hmm. Northeast Pennsylvania is like the Shire. It's definitely everything here is soft and wet and forgiving and nice. And <laughs> it's just. It's crazy. <laughs> that bear thing, though, was real. <laughs> and a, and the, bear was, bear. the bear was friendly. A bear. The bear said, hello, I like your leftovers. Bear did say that. I will help myself to them. And the bear did do that. I'm going to get some just magenta, and I'm going to come on the inside of my chair. The bear thought we put it in giant Tupperware for him. I'm not lightening this with um, white. Oh, 
But I do need to paint in the other side of magenta because I just missed that. What did you forget? Uh, painting the other side with the... Oh, yeah. Let me see here. Zoe had a question. Let me go see if I can find it. Just going magenta this side. Going magenta this side. Going magenta this side. Oh, so if you change the color palette here. Yep. Would it change the pop art nature of the piece? Not particularly, no. The, so you could. I'm going to add some yellow highlights to my wicker while we're talking. No, could, I think you're fine. You could even make a commentary on the piece using color and keep it in pop art styling. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say that the flat pained perspective and I mean not for nothing Matisse did this nonsense too so yeah nonsense being a good thing for me nonsense is a good thing just so you know that's when we're playing and being silly and I like that Lorraine says you have bears where you live now I do have bears where I live now and it's crazy Lorraine that's what we said Lorraine <laughs> we were like what what <laughs> hello Michael Scott never said nothing about no bears. <laughs> I'm going to come up here and add some little green highlights to the table. A little more green than that. So, Sari was asking, is it uh, uh, any suggestions for disposing of acrylic paint and paint water? I've never Crash thought about solids this. solids removal. So um, there's a lot of little hacks and things you can do. People pour it into pet cat litter. Um, people uh, let do straw and let the solid settle. There's a set of instructions on the wet paint blog by Golden on how to clean uh, water, like really ecologically and create your own crash solids kit. And if it seems like too much, they sell one. Generally speaking, bucket that you put all your paint water into and then use that either as an, an evaporation tank mm -hmm. um, which works pretty good or just your crash solid kit yeah i'm going to make some of the diamonds in the uh, the ground so just so the people see i'm going to just freehand these guys kind of like quick and fast all right hold on a second Oh, I'm gonna. That's. I'm just doing them quick and fast. Yeah, I can't see. You that can do these more um, measured out. I just want to get them in because there was that pattern in the carpet, and I didn't want to not include any of the thing for you guys. Any of the things. Right, and we're just implying this. This is just a little patterning into the into the carpet of a little bit of a diamond pattern. Kind of creating that sense of stuff. So adding a little bit of a diamond mm. to the ground like you do. Like you do, like I do, like somebody do. I'm going to take a little bit of my cad red uh, with a smidge of my cad yellow. I'm going to come here Oops. and make a little rounds mark. This is several stages. So this is with just a little bit of the yellow. And come here and I'm just going each side it, it'll be on the right hand side even on this when that is done I'm gonna get a lot more yellow into the game a lot more yellow mixed in and we'll come again
The last mark will have to be done uh, when this is dry so that it shows. Because it'll be a very light yellow mark and white. But that is the first staging of the highlights. Hmm. Now, the filigree on the table. I'm going to use fluid paint for that. That's this type. You could use craft paint. You don't have to use what I'm using today. You can use craft paint. Um, that's just what I have, and I don't have any craft paint in. I'm going to come in and dry brush. That means there's no water on my brush, and I'm letting the paint kind of skip. Some little highlight to the top of the bowl and maybe right here. I've got that. I'm definitely going to have to come back and probably black line again. A little bit of a reflection on the Voss right up here. Sorry to move on you, John. So there's still some details to work out. Like I've got to add this second shade of green on the leaves. So I'm going to take this green and some yellow, but it'll be much darker. Are you going? I'm going to go on all the leaves. Oh. And just make a green half. And personally, because it bothers me, I'd like to touch up the roses some. Sure. So, because uh, they're bugging me. Your paint, your time. My paint, my time. So I'm going to add a little bit of white to my pink. Okay. And just try to pop this up a bit. So it looks like the, uh, the, the drawing was, uh, had ended at, uh, 1230. Okay. So we're going to be drawing a winner here in just a few minutes. So once you get, you get through all of these little bits and we get closer to the cat, we'll do that. Yeah. Closer to the cat. I don't know. Do you guys like that? A little mm -hmm. bit of extra. Just want more of my roses, I guess. Pink or more something. I'm coming back with just the pure magenta. I'm trying to get my desk to stop squeaking. There's no, there's no stopping the squeak of your desk. All right, I'm liking that better. That's starting to make me feel better. So you see I'm just putting out these thick applications of kind of streaky paint. It's just making me feel better. Much better. And then I'll come on the inside this way and kind of improve that. There we go. Almost there. I'm getting there. It just takes a minute. I'm going to take a little of my white and yellow. And we're going to come to this side of the thing. I'll, I'll start here. Now I'm going to come over here. So one of the interesting things that uh, happens is that um, our, and, and when I saw one of I'm our. I'm going to come our, down to the. Post. I just don't want to lose you. I'm come over here. I'll hold this over here. One of the things I've noticed <laughs> is that I'll our go over to the table. Our uh, our patron community is starting. Patrons, thank they're, you. They're starting to connect up with each other, mm -hmm. and so uh, you guys will notice that here pretty quick on the website. We're going to have some areas where you'll be able to chat with each other, and you're going to be able to post up some pictures and be able to share in a message group. And some other fun stuff. Actually, so, there's going to be, um, we're working on a cool kind of, I, I like a cool kind of you guys get together party thing. Uh, virtually. Mm -hmm. We have so many things happening for you guys. Need, so. uh, I can't even, can't even express how much we appreciate you guys and how every day we think about different ways we can add cool stuff for you. And we're doing it. Because we get to. That's I am virtually tatting, but I'm going to do fast tatting. Tatting? Tatting. Remember tatting? You're tatting the cat? Oh, this, this weird bit of lace. Tatting the table? Tatting the table. Tatting the bit. table next to the tat. 
Patty. Patting the table next to the cat. Feels like a poem that we know where we're at. <laughs> Just. But the making of the lace is just about creating patterns and following them. The dots also sometimes help with a feeling of lace. That kind of feeling of things being dotted as if there's... a bit going on there. A little bit of line up. So we're just creating a little sense of lace. Some lace, sir. Free handed in some lace, guys. Just out of the thing. Oh, I dropped my um rag way down there. <laughs> oh no, I really need it to. Otherwise I have to go like this. Ah, eh, eh. oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see who wins. Uh, I think we can, after we get this, uh, I'm going to start on the cat and I think we could do the giveaway announcement. Not, so like that way you guys that are here for the announcement can catch that and then aren't stuck for just every single second of the painting, you know, you know, I think folks are enjoying it. Are they enjoying it? Yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of my blue over to this black. And I'm going to add some white to it, and that's going to create my gray. And I'm going to start painting in Mr. Cat Pants. Do you mind if I flip the canvas over just so I'm not overextending my shoulder? Today, just today. Is that good? I'm going to paint this in. So while I'm painting in this gray, which was the blue, my fluid black, and some white, uh, we are going to pick the winner of our giveaway. And what I'll say about that is you've just got to be here and let us know. So when you hear your name called, uh, shout out. And then um, once we verify you or you, then write support at the uh with the information on where we would ship it to. Uh, but I heard something. Colleen was saying today that our website wasn't letting people send them email addresses. I mean, addresses, which is weird. So I'll check that out. Yeah, we're going to check out. We're going to check on that today. Yeah, you do your you do your thing while I'm painting the gray. My thing. Yep, your thing, which is the announcing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Go over here and see what everybody's doing. Sorry about that. Had a little cough. Sometimes we cough. Go over I mean, now, now it's like it's like having a zombie bite. These days, coughing is the equivalent of having a zombie bite at the mall. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Everybody looks at you like, "Are you murdering me?" And I'm like, "No, only it's a sneeze. And I have my face covered. It's okay." But I think we're all on edge, aren't we? Or I maybe. What do you call a painting of a cat? A portrait. <laughs> I love that. What do you call a painting of a cat? A portrait. All right. So you guys are doing your thing. The verify winner. Mm. Oh, they're working on that over there. Yes, indeed. I want to make sure that the gray part of the cat is painted in uh, pretty solidly. Covers the canvas quite well. I'm gonna mix up a bunch more gray here. I like to put a little blue into it, but a bunch more gray. And I've got kind of round thing I've got to imply in. I need to use my bigger brush, but I'll keep going with this one for a minute. Okay, so. Let's see here. Sorry, asked for a link because uh, she couldn't. She she wasn't able to do um, 
the patronage, but was looking for a one-time PayPal link. So I'm going to drop that here for her. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm making this big grace. This is his little, the little leg thing here. Now I'm going to get some white. And I'm going to just kind of go in the front. Look at that. There we're done. How we're creating that little. Let's try the. Face there to start talking about this haunch being present right here. Let's move that haunch out a bit. Let's move his haunches out, John. Haunches? Mm -hmm. Oops. Shh. I'm painting upside down. It's so weird. Sometimes when I get to painting upside down, I'm like, I'm so weird. But what I'm really trying to do is make sure that I'm not. Draining my stroll. I'm going to come forward a bit because I'm going to put some white paint over the gray. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to make sure I don't strain my shoulder as I'm painting. Now I'm going to flip him back around to get to the tail. Because he also has a dark tail coming down. We're going to paint in the tail. I don't mean to interrupt an announcement, John. No, I'm going over there. We're checking it out right now to see who's winning. Who's winning? Who's everyone winning? is winning. My wish is that everyone is winning today. Feels like a winner. It is okay in their lives. Mm. Once I see the name, I'm going to scroll back up in here and see. I'm dragging a nice curving mm. stroke on that line here against where the black line is just to help pull that into a nice smooth line. Smooth lines are always wonderful and appreciated in this type of art. We have selected a name. Have you selected a name? We have a name. And it is selected. So I'm hoping that our person is here. Please be here, name. I wish that the person who won is here. So will you let me know when you're ready? I am. All right, we'll stop. I think I'm coming to like a space where I can stop. So we can announce the winner, the second winner, of uh, the catcher day cat's tying went i mean not this one i painted with but a brand new unused one <laughs> will be sent to whoever won but they do need to be here so i hope you're here sorry i wanted to get some notes out there okay are we ready i'm ready i think we're ready i'm not ready i gotta push this button push that button now i'm ready okay the name, the name. is Brandy Orner. <gasps> Brandy Orner? Oh my gosh, Brandy Orner, tell me that you're here. I know who Brandy Orner is. Brandy Orner, please be here, Brandy. Because I will die if you're not here. I, I won't really die. I, will, I don't want to say like, anything that stresses like, anybody out extra. You're going to be like Facebook texting. You're like, Brandy, get on right now. I know like, you're, let's you're... give every minute, because I think we all know Brandy. <laughs> Brandy. Brandy. Sending. Is send, someone like, find Brandy? And it's okay. We're gonna leave. We're gonna a little bit of time. But we give Brandy yeah, a minute. Just, okay. Same, just like we did yesterday. We gave it. it and it's okay Shh. because here's the. If Brandy comes along afterwards, and we're and we're Make still not here. Paint and painting these pauses real quick. We've got some some stuff. So this is a low pressure thing, but you gotta be here to win. So that's part of the fun of the game. I think it's so. just super exciting for me because like I know Brandy. Yeah. I'm, I know Brandy. She, but we'll see. Copy. Brandy's going to come in here and go, I'm here, I'm here. And then we're going to get and be like, yay, Brandy. It's going to be okay. It'll be okay. John's like, it'll be okay, sweetie. It'll be okay. And I'm like, ah. See, we just have to see what's happening right now. I see Brandy is watching this on the big screen TV. I'm figuring how to get to her phone and log on and chat. Oh, my gosh. And, and of course, her phone die, battery dies, like, right about now, right as she's just getting it, like, logged in. And now she's having to to curse at that while she drops the phone and runs into the other room to log in at the computer. And of course, the password system won't remember any of the passwords. So I she's think you're to... really describing whatever's going on for Brandy right now. Am I? Or she entered to be here on Friday and it moved to Sunday. I don't know. No. I... We'll see. We have time. So it's not like, you know. All right. 
So uh, I've got a minute to paint. How long do you want to give for Brandy to be found? A bit. Okay, give it a bit. You you got some painting to do. You still got to get the eyes. I have a lot to do. You got some stuff to do, so I'm not worried. I have a lot to do. I still have all the black lining. And all that stuff. So Brandy has a moment. And you know what? Hang out, guys, because just like last time, if Brandy's not here to claim her prize, I you know we're gonna she, just like she can contact me later, and we'll make sure that we you know like Brandy will be okay. But you gotta be here to win your thing, because that's the that's the you know that's a rule. Dun, 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 gotta be fair. Dun, 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 dun. That's how you got the game show. Dun, 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 dun. So you gotta, that's dun, dun, dun. gotta you gotta win to be. You gotta be in it to win it, as they say. Did the Sherpa purposely paint the? Yes, I did, and I just have to wait for it to dry because I'm trying to do a fur thing. Ooh. So the the color that's all the way up here, yes, on purpose, for sure. Everyone's waiting. I'm just painting in Mr. Kitty Pants. <laughs> I'm going to get a little of my pink together while I'm here. And I think the ears are dry enough to do this with now. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of water on my brush. I've just made a pink and I'm flicking down this inside shading. See how we're on the toe of the brush? It's not very much pressure. Just flicking down the inside shading. Of those years. The dating game things. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the Price is Right actually is what I was singing. But, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. They all kind of run together, but, you know, <laughs> like, believe me, I'm not like a game show jingle aficionado. Kind of cleaning up the eyes here a little bit. I'm going to clean up around the ears again. And the name was Brandy Orner. There's lots of Brandys going, but I'm close. I'm very close to that name. I have a Brandy in my name. Does that count? Should count for something, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Ah, Orner. Brandy. Orner. Brandy Orner, not Morgan. I push close. I'm sorry if I misunderstood, mispronounced that bit, but it's Orner. O R N E R. So I'm cleaning up these lines around the face, and you can see it really kind of helps it come together. So. I'm going to come in and get some, I think, some very light pink for the nose. Very, very light. Super light pink. So many brandies. Brandies are like, but we all came. We're here. All the <laughs> brandies Moore, are here. Warner is usually here. It's very rare that she's not. The irony... Uh, is well, that's okay because okay. so to to be honest, we had uh, and and I'm kind of there's there's some understanding here because internet issues can be an issue. So you I'm know, going to add a little bit of dark green to this side of my eye. And then this far side. Okay, we've got five minutes up for Brandy. If All in right. five minutes we're we now to the five minute countdown, and then we're gonna draw another name, and we have time in the painting because I'm still going for a minute. Yeah, no, it's okay. Now, so here's the thing: is that uh, let's see here. I think it was uh, uh, Madeline had come to this show, and she was like, "I was here. I had bad internet last night, but I'm here today." And I'm like, "All right, Madeline, you gotta email me at support at the art sherpa dot com." Yeah, and she's got that, and. And while I can't give you the prize that was claimed yesterday, we will make sure that you are de-stressed and taken care of in some Sherpet kind of way. Yes. So, 
email me support at theartsherpa.com. Same with Brandy. Brandy, same things. If you if you miss your if you miss whatever the claim We're was. We're not here, here to be mean. We're not. We want you to win too. So you just Work gotta it out. you just gotta claim it. You gotta you gotta come here and claim it. So Next time we're live, Brandy, if you miss it now, got come in and tell me. Be like. I'm adding a little more white. So you see I'm kind of creating a little ombre where it's the lightest on the left side and goes darker as it goes. Okay, so Elizabeth, she just explained how most people, their first experience with the Art Sherpa. Uh -huh. She's like, all right, so I tuned in for the first time. I walk, I walk over my phone and I start watching. I rolled over and I found out it was 30 minutes later. <laughs> yeah, I know. I get that all time. <laughs> it's like, so. <laughs> Welcome to the art family. <laughs> this is what we do. It's very calming. We're going to paint in the little heart pink now. I'm still just using this number four round. I really haven't changed brushes in a long time, guys. Mm. You're brush stubborn. Um, well, sometimes you just don't have to. I'm going to get a little bit of extra white and uh, oh, Did Did paint. someone say that Brandy was here? Don, so, she is here, says she's Jackie here. All right, Tala. I'm going to look. Brandy, are you here? I don't. I'm going to scroll up and look for you. I'm looking. Oh, Chairman, how are you doing? It's so good to see you today, Chairman Wessels. Oh, man. Uh, Go oh, have a good fun day. No. So. I'm going to change water because that she's here like really like. We got him. We got She's got another minute or so to get in here. So just right. like she's she, this is like her friend said called her up on the phone. It was like you better get in the Sherpa chat right now. And she's like. Jackie Botola is like she's here. Oh. And then Mod Cat Yellow is like she's not. I don't know. We're, We're going to give it a minute. No and then, sighting yet. All right, I'm going to get into my black paint here, right? And come into our but black. Don't worry. It's going to be cool because, like, you know, Randy's, like, running to the phone. Whoosh, get there. But it's all right. Making that downward cat eye, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of a rounded triangle. No. Getting a rounded triangle going on. There we go. A little rounded triangle. Time flies right. when you're having fun, says Frederica. It mm -hmm. is kind of fun, isn't it, to just hang out, goof off, and paint? If you guys haven't done the Watercolor Wednesdays with us, I highly recommend it. Yeah. Well, so, <sighs> Cad Red says she's yep. not here. I'm, I'm scrolled back up in chat, too. I have not seen her. All right. So here's the thing. So, Brandy, this one must say. Orner. You get, girl, when you hear this, you just have to come back into a live and come say t whatever it was, whatever happened. Like, internet died, cat ate my internet, all just let me know and we'll figure something out. But you got to come and claim it in, in live. That's the way it's, you've got to play. So we got to do it that way. We're going to get a little more pink and come in on the inside of the ear. All right. So. All right. We're, next name. We're, we're it's official. Name. Next we're, name. We're going to draw another name. And but I'm going to keep my eye out. Mm. Alyssa Otter says she's scared of watercolor. No one should ever That's, be scared of watercolor. Watercolor is so fun, guys. It's the most forgiving of the watercolors. <laughs> watercolor is the most forgiving of the watercolors. That's right. It's super deep there, dude. That's why you should choose watercolor. It chooses you. <laughs> it chooses you. I'm going to get some heavy body white paint on my brush and I'm going to come here and I'm going to come along the neck and brush in a little bit of the white hair. And as you can see, to kind of create that sense of the kitty's hair layering over himself. We get a nice little feather. I'm going to also kind of dry brush a little bit here, maybe a little bit gray, a little bit gray, but like lighter. And then a little bit down here. Now we're dry brushing that.
Drag Maybe a pressure. little extra white here. Alyssa says she's going to watch on Wednesday. So if you're wondering where I do the watercolor classes, I do those on Facebook. I have a regular weekly Wednesday class, and then sometimes mm -hmm. I do bonus classes, and they are fun. And if you've ever wanted to collect a painting, sometimes I give away an original painting watercolor. So it's a great way if you haven't hmm. made one of our uh, this is, weird events. This is another name that looks familiar to me. Okay. As a matter of fact, I may have seen this person in just chat. Tell me it's not who just left, because that'll be crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna scroll up here, but uh, okay. So now I'm gonna say that Brandy, remember, no stress. Come see me later. Just gotta see me in a chat. Be like highlight it's me. with okay. white here, babe. Our our next name. We're highlighting that white in here because you know Eugene Glassdale. <laughs> But do announce the next name. I'm just doing white highlights on the chair. It is Robin Burgett. Robin Burgess? Burgett. B U R G E T T. Robin Burgett. Burgett. R O B G E T T. R O B I N B U R G E T T. Robin if you're out there so to the art room to the young creator uh you'll notice that our system automatically doesn't allow channel shout outs and that's something that we put into our system but what i want to say to you is congratulations welcome to the platform on youtube i wish you a lot of luck i'm gonna tell you the number one thing that helped me on my channel it's gonna seem lame i know i'm kind of an adult saying lame things was the Creator Academy. I did everything they had to offer. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I got to be part of Next Up and I've got to be in all their training. Um, it is amazing <gasps> what's there. Remember, if I can do this, you can do this. Congratulations, Robin. Robin! I, she's here. Hi, Robin. And just know sometimes uh, the you, you set your auto system and it's set to grab certain comments like subscribe to my channel. It's auto grabbed by my system. So yeah. just so you know, that's what's going on. So but good luck to you. Yeah, okay. to all the to all you folks that are uh, out there joining us. Thank you for being part of this today. This was awesome. I see Robin in the house. She's oh my gosh, here Robin to is here. Her prize. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Robin. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm -hmm. There you guys go. Okay, I'm so excited now. Yeah, I'm just like doing these like finishing touches, guys. Sometimes I get into that on this stuff where I'm like, ooh, finishing touches. Ah, little highlights. Now, um, at this stage, I add white to the eyes. I look for anywhere that I want to touch up the paint, see anything that I missed. And then I'm going to go back in and uh, white line. So I'm going to get some white here. I'm going to go in and add a reflection to the eye, a reflection to the eye. Ooh, those mm -hmm. eyes. The reason I had done the black lining on the face first is so that I could come here and also add a few whiskers. Oh, I might have to, because the whiskers will go over that, I'll have to black line that, then whisker. Mm, order of operations. Order of operations. See, math taught me something useful, kind of, barely, but yeah. No, math taught me a lot of good things. It just was not easy for me. So I'm going to go around and kind of re-outline to strengthen some of those shapes. This is awesome. This is Linda Harvey. More pop art, please. Well, Linda, uh, after we get through the, uh, it's like mid-October, but um, after we get through this month's content, which is already scheduled, and then we've got the 13 days of Halloween, that fall weekend, immediately after that, we're going to do a dog weekend to match this. Like, I'm going to match this weekend. Even the heart still life. Just in case you want matching heart still life. Because I love you guys that much. And again, thank you guys for all joining us today. It's been really nice. Just lovely to get to spend the day with you. And really, really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun to get to have this time. Mm 
I'm going to just come in and make sure that the objects that are, are supposed to be kind of outlined and clearly described are. This is, I got to let this dry so I can whisker the other side. What? Robin's been screaming in the car. Really? <laughs> Congratulations, Robin. This is the finishing touches of this. So. But you can see it does make a certain kind of. Oh, let me go back over there. I didn't, I was reading chat, not watching what you were doing. Oh, it's okay. I'm just uh, defining those lines so that they're clean. This little last touch is what pulls this type of artwork in my mind together. Okay. While you're doing this, can I, can I answer some questions and chat about? Yeah, I'm blacklining everything, guys. All black, number four round, coming back in and refining lines. So just watch what I'm doing if you're not sure what to refine, and John will tell you something. So are you going to be doing any gnomes for this Halloween? Yes. Yes. There are Halloween gnomes. There are Halloween gnomes. Gnomes. Now, the, you have put together a kit for this Halloween. Yes. And the kit includes all the materials you would need. Yes, including the canvases. Including the surfaces, which is a New lot. for us. You get 15 surfaces in there. And there's all of the so paint. That's like two mistake surfaces plus your 13. <laughs> Nine by 12 canvases. Nine by 12. Is. And there's a lot of good brushes. And there's mm -hmm. uh, there's like some goodies. There's goodies. There's even a stain stick, which is Sherpa soap in a stick that you can treat your brushes or stains with, which I think is pretty cool. And it has, it has some novelty aprons and bags and cups and fans and... Uh, we even included the bonus Christmas stuff from last year in there so that you have that. So it's pretty cool. Now, that's you're going to be doing some promotional openings on that here in the channel. Yeah, We're going to do that and give some sneak peeks to the content. Um, you guys were mentioning, uh, you know, uh, wanting to order the brush that you saw from this giveaway and totally think that's awesome. Check out silverbrush.com for places you can order it. Next week, sneak peek on what we're giving away is, uh, 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 what, what do you call it? Boo-boo soap? Where it has like a discoloration. It, I wouldn't, mm. it's not like shelf ready, but it's like. Our little soap things? Yeah, our soap. We're going to give away soap next weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, the, uh, the soap we couldn't put on the shelf. It's perfectly oh. good. It's just not pretty. Oh, Okay. That. Perfectly good. It's just okay. not free. factory. Okay, those are production seconds. Production seconds. We're going to be giving away and, some of our production seconds. And what that means is that we we had hired a couple of different folks to do paint to do uh, soap production for us over the time we've been doing it. And the original one was very poor quality control. So. We had some loofah that, that ended up um, get some brown spots on them because the it just the way that it was poured. So the they spotted up and they ended up not looking as nice as we liked them, but they still functioned really well because exactly it's a, the same. It's you know it's a piece of loofah suspended in soap, but uh, you know therein lies that uh, we have some ugly soap that we can give away. So our situation is a benefit to the next giveaway. Mm -hmm. So you now, guys, we're going to be giving away um, e uh, on Friday and Saturday. Nope. Oh, it goes with the it goes with the theme. Yeah. Soap seconds. Yep. Soap seconds. That's what we mean to say. Soap seconds. And the there, it's you know, the interesting thing about soap is that you can grind soap up and make more soap with soap because soap is soap. Soap is soap. And, uh, but these have loofah suspended in them. And that's... Uh, that makes that harder to do. It makes it harder to do. So when we looked at it, we were like, mm, well, it's like a bruised banana. <laughs> you know? It's like, yeah. It's just got one little bruise spot on it. Everything else is fine. I do recommend putting the little bum bums on the uh, lemons because I think it helps. Mm. Mm. I am going to go ahead and do the leaves because I think that will help too. 
So I'm going to flip this over and then we'll look at the whole thing. And I think you'll be surprised. So this type of art is a lot of fun to do. I find it very relaxing. It lets you um, paint, even if maybe drawing a perfect rendering of a cat is not your thing, right? But you love cats. This is something like, this is how you take that kind of uh, raw, honest way that you would express yourself and turn it into a painting. But sometimes people don't know like the steps and layers that they might need to do to get that effect or get that result. So this is how we get there. This is how we do it. You know, as they say. Mm -hmm. This is how we do it. Now, everyone's everyone thinks it's very funny that you're that you're you're lop whisker sky sided. I just gotta get that's just gotta draw so I can whisker <laughs> the other side. <laughs> or okay, have you ever seen though a cat with like one set of whiskers? Like I have seen that. Is, I don't know how it happened. It wasn't my cat, but I have just like had so many follow up questions. Like why did he have one set of whiskers? Like what happened? Because they are the pet of a seven year old. Oh no. I'm sure. <laughs> or, I thought of that. Or the the cat was over there sniffing close to something, and the little whiskers went. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. If it, but the kitty was completely okay, so but it is a little funny. Okay. Clearly, the kitty the kid, was okay, so it is. We funny. saw we saw the kitty. It was okay. I love animals. I don't want animals to ever not be okay. You know, but I will say it's you know cat or dog. When you, you know, remove the whiskers, they. They don't walk the same for a little bit. I saw something kind of crazy. Did you see that Carol Baskin was just on Dancing with the Stars? Okay, I heard I it. I feel like I'm one Netflix documentary away now from being on Netflix with the Stars. Okay, so <laughs> Dancing with the Stars, just one Netflix documentary away, and I too could be on Dancing with the Stars. All I can say is that I'm really grateful that both sides of our political system have already elect have already nominated who their candidates are. Because I'm genuinely afraid that some cast member from Tiger King is going to run for office in about a red hot second. It so, already happened. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm just, no, he ran for president. Tiger King ran for president. He was I'm a presidential just, no, candidate. He didn't watch the show, I, so he didn't I, know. That, that was my this first is, moment. Yes. This is, this is I, no. Okay. He did. He did. Yeah, he did. I, I'm. You know, he did. You know that place that Bugs Bunny goes whenever he goes down in this hole and says Albuquerque. I'm, yeah. No, <laughs> you should have made a left there. You should have made a left. <laughs> Albuquerque needs to work on its infrastructure. It really does. <laughs> like when Warner Brothers was so mad at Albuquerque that they made it the city of getting turned around. Okay, I'm okay. We've been on a long time, but. We have completed this lovely, lovely project. Whiskers! You've got to get the whiskers, otherwise you're going to have wopsided kitty walk. How ironic it would be if her first husband appeared as her dance partner. Jacinda, I would lose my mind. I have watched every YouTube video about micro-expressions, about, uh, like, like, coming back and, like, analyzing what she did. Like, there were several things that I took away from that show that really stuck with me, and that was one of yeah, them. The, <laughs> this, like, this is this too much reality for me. It was John. John fell asleep during the whole thing, so he did not get the joy and fun and wonder that that show was for me. Uh, I know it wasn't for everybody, and it's okay if you didn't watch it. If you looked at that and you were like, "Yeah, guys, that's cute, but that's not me," there, it, that's completely fine. <laughs> that's okay. I know sometimes when a lot of people watch a show, it's like we all become part. You know, it's like, did you ever see Invasion of the Body Snatchers? When everybody gets into a Netflix special, I feel it's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers for a whole demographic of people where they were like, I had friends before this show. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Carol Baskin's <laughs> the perfect candidate for, for office because she could just feed all of her opponents to her pets. She'd be like, you should come out to the farm and then there wouldn't be any no. more politicians no no there'd just be stop happy it. cats stop stop <laughs> i'm stopping him <laughs> he stopped don't worry he stopped <laughs> whiskers oh yeah 
I was I doing whiskers. You, you got to put the whiskers in. Was I doing this brush with the whiskers or did I have I another brush? Because I have this brush out. So this is the one we're using. Thank you for reminding me. I'm doing whiskers before I signed. Because, you know, I always do that one thing where I sign. And then, um, and then I can't, and then I got to go back and paint a thing. <laughs> Stopped. <laughs> Should the lace be shadowed a bit? Um, you know, here's what it could be, and it wouldn't hurt it. You could shadow the bull, you could shadow the cat. But the thing about this type of art is it tends to be very flat, uh, very structural uh in in its place, right? So that's one of those elements about the way we black line it then flattens the image into the canvas instead of creating the illusion of depth. Yeah. Even though we see depth in relationship to the object placement. So if it bothers you and you want to do that, I ha you can totally do that and it will add an element. But if it doesn't bother you, I would not necessarily do it. Hmm. Tiger King. <laughs> so. And yeah. Liz says Albuquerque has many right turns that should have been left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sign my name now. What? Thank you guys for joining us Thank today. Thank you for joining it's us been today. Very nice. I hope to see you for Watercolor Wednesday over on Facebook 7 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. We're Eastern now. And well, my computer's still central. Your computer is And I can't reset confused. the clock. I'm just saying that this has happened to me and it's caused a lot of problems with my YouTube channel. Because <laughs> my YouTube channel believes my computer, not me. Mm. So it's like whatever time zone it thinks my computer is in, it thinks it is in. And when you put it on that security software where it makes it be all kinds of different places, then YouTube's like two in the morning, three at night. Just what? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, YouTuber problems. Hashtag. <laughs> Guys, it's such a good weekend. Uh and Liz is like, yeah, Liz, Liz is like, stop, John, stop. I'm overloaded by life already. I think we are all overloaded by life already. So absolutely mm. love and blessings on that. We all need that safe bubble. Guys, seriously, take time, paint, laugh, watch funny shows, take care of yourself. As we always like to say, and John and I mean from the bottom of our heart, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And we want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.